Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, BSF Canada, and Syngenta Canada. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to Real Agriculture. Today I'm at the Allura Research Station catching up with Mike Cobra, Maffer's weed specialist. Mike, how's it going? Very well. Yourself? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. And, um, you know, we're just here at your, your site here. Um, we're, last week you hosted uh, the Ontario Weeds Tour, um, something you've been doing annually now. And I want to talk about some of the research you're doing here. And uh, you talked about a concept, herbicide synergy, Mike. And, uh, you know, how you can basically bring two products together um, that may not be as... Uh, efficacious as you'd like, but when you put them together, they can really handle probably a weed like horsetail. Yeah, so we're dealing with field horsetail here. It's a question that comes up every year. How do you manage it? And this is a trial that Dr. Francois Tardif has. And like some of these newer herbicide tolerant soybean varieties open up some possibilities in terms of looking at other chemistry combinations. And yeah, at this site, what we find is individual active ingredients on their own are pretty poor on field horsetail. But surprisingly, when you put a couple of them together, especially, you get some pretty nice top growth that sustains itself through the critical weed-free period of soybeans or corn, and then uh, you know allow us to kind of minimize any impact from those weeds. Well, I'm going to ask you to walk us through some of these plots here, look at how these products do individually and how they come together, and uh, to, to create some synergies. Perfect. Let's take a look. We have a bit of a two for one here. We have both field horsetail and Canada flea bane. And this is what most people expect to see when they uh, apply glyphosate. So this is the labeled rate of glyphosate. Very poor on field horsetail. Clearly won't control glyphosate resistant Canada flea bane. So what else could we possibly add to uh, get control of this weed? Let's take a look. So here we have 2,4-D choline, an active ingredient in a product called Enlist One. It can be used on E3 soybeans. And although we have some decent top growth control of Canada flea bane that was small at the time of application, when we look at the field horsetail, not really spectacular top growth control. So let's take a look at when we mix 2,4-D choline with glyphosate to see if we see some synergy there. And so in this area, we have a combination of glyphosate and 2,4-D choline. And so far over the past two years, this has given us a very good level of top growth control of field horsetail. Generally speaking, top growth is excellent. We're starting to see some new shoot regrowth, which is pretty typical, but this has given us nice control for about three to four weeks, keeping things weed-free during the critical periods in, in soybeans, for example. And here's one last example where we've been seeing synergy. So we, we already know that 240 choline on its own, not super hot on top growth control field horsetail. This is Liberty. So the um, active ingredient is glufosine ammonia. We get pretty decent top growth control, as you can see here, fair amount of browning, but we're starting to see some, some regrowth. Let's take a look over here when we mix the two, uh, Liberty with 240 choline or Liberty plus enlist one. And we have a lot better top growth control of field horsetail. So over the past two seasons, if we're looking at field horsetail top growth and herbicide tolerant soybeans such as E3, we really found that the combination of either glufosinate, the active ingredient in Liberty, plus 240 choline, the active ingredient in List 1, or glyphosate plus in List 1, those two products together, much more powerful than on their own. So it's some nice synergy to get field horsetail top growth in E3 soybeans. 